got to share this crazy project. I had this earth that did not work out. Yes, it looks kind of cool, but it doesn't work for a variety of reasons. So I've got this ring mold. I've put a whole bunch of scrap white glass underneath. I've set this thing on top and I'm going to do a full fuse and just see what happens. All right, so you know what? This came out not too bad. It's <laughs> there are a little there are a few bubbles on the top, but nothing nothing too tragic. Um and uh, you know what? They're in the water, so what difference does it make? So I am just on a whim. I'm going to go ahead and slump this on the high-low mold from uh, Creative Paradise. So let's just see what it looks like when it comes out of the slump. All right, you saw me cold working this, so um, I pulled it out. I'm, I'm happy with it. The shape is cool. Now, it's not without its flaws. There are several bubbles in here that were very thin right on the surface that I went ahead and popped. And then I used the diamond bill, uh, drill bit on my uh, Dremel to just kind of polish the edges of those a little bit so that they're not um, rough and don't hurt. Um, so I'm not going to sell this one because of all those flaws that are in the surface, but I like it enough to keep it around, uh, maybe keep it in my office. But I <clears throat> wanted to experiment with cold working the edge, and I didn't go deep enough to take care of this little divot here. I'm just leaving that. But uh, I did get a nice flat edge on this, which is really the first time that I've tried to use that slant cabber on something, you know, this big on, on a bowl. I've never flat, uh, excuse me, never cold worked the edge of a bowl before. So because of that brush attachment that I put on that, then that allowed me um, to get a bigger piece on there than what that uh, disc is intended for. That's an eight inch uh, disc that I have. This is almost a nine inch piece. And as that product comes, there's a guard on it that you never could have done what I did. But by putting that brush modification to it, it allowed me to work on a bigger piece. Is it perfect? No. Do I need a lot of practice? Yes. But do I have a piece of equipment that gets me somewhere close to, you know, a true flat lap. Yeah, uh, this is close. Um, so close enough for me anyway, for the guy that's learning. So hope you enjoyed it. This is that high-low mold from Creative Paradise. Love it, love it, love it. Hope you enjoyed this project and uh, catch you next time. Bye-bye.